Dale. That'll be a good lift for Senny. Let's take that to replay from the side. We'll be able to see that better. I mean, look like a. <coughs> Sorry, from the front here, looked like an easy opener. Okay, now here we have a side view. Check how high he's able to pull. Uh, okay, it looks like we lost replay for a second there. We'll be right back to that. Sorry for the complications this morning, folks. There we go. Better look at Senny's opener. Now we might have some more changes. Uh, we've only seen Mara and Seni uh, for their openers. They are grouped a little bit toward under as far as their openers, some of the other lifters here. So we might see a couple more attempts from them before we see anyone else take the stage. Again, another short session this morning, just five kilos in this men's 105 plus B session. All right, Senny really has to chase that one to the edge of the platform, but will be awarded three white lights. Let's watch that again from the side. We can see exactly how much of the platform he had to utilize here in order to keep this lift. And really does catch it on his toes. Walks right to the edge of the platform, actually ends up stepping on that kind of that white 10-centimeter warning strip. Now the athlete is allowed to set step on that, even have part of their foot hanging off that. They are not allowed to touch their foot or to take a step off of the platform onto the stage below. So even though he utilized the very front lip of the platform, that was still a good lift. Got the down signal. And with that, we will bring up Andre Fales of Costa Rica for his opener. 103 kilograms on the barbell. All right, this will bring up Rodrigo Mara for his second attempt. He took a, uh, taking a sizable jump here, Four, a 14 kilo jump, which is the largest increase I've seen between a first and second attempt all week now. The reason there being, since this is a point scoring meet, even lifters in the B session, actually every lifter here at the Pan American Championships this week has the opportunity with made snatches, clean jerks, and totals to score qualification points for their team. So. Some teams are playing it a bit conservative with their openers and just making sure their athletes get on the board because those are valuable points. And we'll watch this one again from the side, but this easy 104 kilo snatch has me thinking that 90 kilograms was um, really just a, a no question for Mara and that his, almost even power snatch, and that his coaches just wanted to absolutely ensure he would post a total today. Thank you. 
Taking a five kilo jump here for Andre Fales of Costa Rica, up to 108 kilograms on the barbell. He had a successful opener at 103. No lift for Fallis. He still has one attempt remaining in the competition as far as the snatch goes. And that'll be a no lift for Cine of Uruguay. We'll watch that from the side. He never really had that barbell under control, looks like, off the ground. He'll be credited with his second attempt at 102. And this uh, will bring up Andre Fales of Costa Rica for his third and final attempt. And just like that, we only have seven attempts remaining here in the snatch portion of the men's 105 plus kilogram B session. So, quick little session this morning. Still a lot of great lifting yet to come, especially in the clean and jerk portion. Always fun to watch the super heavyweight lifters attack the clean and jerks. All right, a good lift for Fallis at 108. And this will bring up the opening attempt for Federico Romero of Argentina. Now, Argentina only entered one lifter last year in this competition, but, oh, apologies, we do have a change. Rodrigo Mara, I'm just saying Argentina only entered one athlete last year in this competition, but they do have a full squad this year, which is fantastic to see now. Uh, a lot of that likely due to the fact that this opens up Pan American Games qualification. Also, um, the competition's location here in Miami, very centrally located as far as the Pan American Federation goes, much more accessible to a lot of South American and Caribbean countries than some other previous locations. Gives a little dance. Let's watch that one again from the side, especially the little celebration there at the end. That is a full 21 kilos up on his opener. You have to think that was a very conservative opener for Mara. Pretty good looking lift there. And watch right here. A little salsa. Get us started this morning. And that'll bring up the first attempt for Federico Romero, meaning we only have two lifters left, Romero and Salas of Costa Rica. Andre Fallis of Costa Rica has finished his list. Paul Salas of Costa Rica has yet to open it and is currently listed to open at 120 kilograms. Come. 
No problem for Romero of Argentina. And lifter will remain Romero. But looks like he will be <coughs> increasing. No, we do have a change, and that will bring out Paul Salas of Costa Rica for his opener at 120 kilograms. Salas, the final lifter we have yet to see in this session, lifter from Costa Rica. All these lifters, what we would probably consider light super heavyweights, um, all within a handful of kilos of the 105 kilogram body weight category. That'll be a good lift for Federico Romero of Argentina. He has one attempt remaining, two attempts remaining for Paul Salas of Costa Rica. Federico Romero for his third and final attempt. Um, There's a one kilo automatic increase, but you have to think he's actually going to go higher than this. So just two lifts left in this snatch portion of the men's 105 plus kilogram B session. After this, we'll be taking a 10 to 15 minute break and coming back to you with the clean and jerk portion. So just two lifts remaining here. Thank you. 
equipo ese, vamos, eh. Tiene bien el pecho de salir. That'll be a no lift for Romero. He'll be credited, credited with his second lift at 123. And just like that, we come to the final lift of this, the final snatch of this men's B session. Final lift for Paul Salas of Costa Rica. All right, that'll be no lift for Salas, and that will conclude the snatch portion of this men's 105 plus kilogram B session. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back in 15 minutes for the clean and jerks. Today will be Emmanuel Seni of Uruguay. He's opening at 110 kilograms. Hope you enjoyed the lifting this morning. All right, so two successful lifts to begin 
this session here. Again, just five lifters in this session, which means only 15 clean and jerk attempts. So I'm just going to be popping in and out a few times over the course of the session to bring you a little bit of color commentary, but we've got a fairly quick moving session here, so I would suggest enjoying the lifting and the attempts. Uh, we're going to have Emmanuel Seni and Rodrigo Mara, both of Uruguay, probably taking first couple attempts here, and then we will have the remaining three lifters coming in momentarily with their attempts. The heaviest opener lifted is Paul Salas of Costa Rica at 150 kilograms. So enjoy the rest of the session. I'll be joining you all back on the live stream in just a few minutes. But until then, on we have Emmanuel Seni of Uruguay. Second attempt, a 14 kilo jump off of his first, which included an easy power clean. So let's see if he does the same here. A little bit of a pause here. We have four successful lifts to start the session. And the next lifter will be Seni of Uruguay, his final attempt. Squat clean. All right, a good lift for Seni. A full 21 kilograms up on his opener. He'll be credited with all three clean and jerk attempts and made two snatches. And we'll finish today, today with a 233 
kilogram total. All right, the lifter on the clock is Andre Fales, who missed his second attempt. Will be attempting to take 138 again. This will be the final attempt of the competition for Fales of Costa Rica. a good lift after missing on his second attempt he makes it on his third and this will bring up the second attempt for Rodrigo Mara 20 kilograms up on his opener a big jump between the opener and second attempt something we saw him do during the snatch portion Four. It looks like, let's see it again from the front. It looks like he might have been called for an elbow rebend there, actually, during the jerk portion. No issue on the clean. Watch right here. Yeah, maybe a little bit of a rebend there. The center referee certainly saw something.
All right, first attempt for Federico Romero, who finished the snatch portion with 123 kilograms. Good opener for Romero of Argentina. And just like that, we're down to our last six lifts here in the clean and jerk portion of the men's 105 plus kilogram B category. And that means we will be seeing Paul Salas take his opener at 150 kilograms. He was our leader coming out of the snatch in this session with 124 kilograms. Good looking lift for Salas of Costa Rica at 150 kilos. And folks, just a reminder, this live stream Color commentary is brought to you by Barbend.com, the official media partner of USA Weightlifting. And I might be a little biased here, but a great resource for all things in strength sports, news, analysis, opinion, training tips, exclusive interviews, you name it. We're thrilled to be at these events and working so closely with our friends and partners at USA Weightlifting to bring you some color commentary. Uh, with a lot of great special guests. It's been myself, J.P. Nicoletta, Sean Waxman, Danny Camargo, Kevin Doherty. Uh, we have had a really great lineup of guest color commentators and top-level international coaches. In fact, a, another veteran of the Barbend color commentary, Kane Wilkes, is competing in the men's super heavyweight A group a little later on today. So excited to see him lift. Right now we have Federico Romero. Second attempt.
All right, no lift for Mara. All right, just like that, we're down to our final three lifts of the men's super heavyweight B session here. Two of those belong to Paul Salas of Costa Rica, who's moved up to 156. He was successful with his opener at 150 kilograms. Lifter from Costa Rica. And that is a good looking second attempt for Salas. Four for five on the day so far with one attempt remaining. And this will bring up the final attempt for Federico Romero of Argentina. Well, you see on your screens after this replay of Salas's lift, um, there's an auto increase for Salas. I do believe that will change a bit. And I think the next lifter we're going to see is Federico Romero, not Powell Salas. All right, this is Federico Romero's final lift. Way to finish the competition. A good lift by Romero. And that, ladies and gentlemen, brings us to the final lift of this session after this we'll have a short break and then at 9 30 a.m eastern standard time we will be coming back to you with the women's 90 kilogram a group this will be the first time in pan american championships history that the 90 kilogram weight class for women will be contested so very excited to see that very groundbreaking and now we have pal salas who has taken an increase it looks like to 159 for his third and final attempt. This will be the last lift of this session. After this lift, we will be going off air for uh, just around 20 minutes and coming back for the women's 90 kilogram A session. Actually, about, about 30 minutes. We'll be coming back around 9.35, 9.36 a.m. Eastern Standard Time to bring you every lift from the women's 90 kilogram A session. But right now, to close out this group, we have Pal Salas of Costa Rica. This is the final lift of the Super Heavyweight B session for the men. All right, that's going to be a good lift. He finishes three for three on the clean and jerks. And is your overall leader after the snatch and clean and jerk portion. But we still have the A group yet to come later today and looking for some big totals there. We'll watch this last replay of Salas' lift. But until a little later on this morning, I'm David Tao of Barbend.com. Thank you so much for tuning in.